Hi everybody, I am Sandy with Sandy's Home uh, Decor and Treasures and I had said yesterday in my video that we were going to do a couple of things. One of them was to make baskets that I have painted and waxed as well as the vanity, finishing the vanity. I got the, the nails for that. Well, so, I'm going to show you these that I have already put together. I had another one. I have another one, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to do the yellow. But here is one of the green ones that had been done. And here is the blue. And I am selling them in my booth for $12.95. And here's a pink one. It has all of the pinks and blues and purples. Just a really good spring mix of flowers because everybody is ready for spring. And here is a blue one. And so I put those together this morning. But I saved the yellow one so we could do it together. I got a bunch of flowers out to start with. And hopefully it'll be enough. If not, I have got a huge trash bag. And honestly, this is so funny. This is the one, I don't know if everybody, if I had said it in, a, in it or not. But this is the, these were in a big, big, huge, um, plastic container and I wanted the plastic container and they had stuff in it but I didn't care about that because I thought it was Christmas stuff and it's like okay whatever I can just do whatever with it but I want this box because it's a huge box and they cost $20 and I, this one's even on rollers I got that at it was at, a, at the church where we go to they were having a, a sale on getting rid of their old stuff and I got it for a dollar. And when I opened it the other day, because I was going to take out the Christmas stuff, have my husband to take it to our shed, it was all flowers, yellow flowers. Mainly it looks like sunflowers that maybe they had done, maybe a, a, a fall theme. But I did get a few sunflowers, but I don't want all of sunflowers because... We want this springy, so I am going to take the tallest one and put it into my foam. I've got foam glued down in here. And I want to do a few of these yellows, just kind of randomly putting them in at different sections. This one's a little bit long, so I am going to... Cut it off, and I'm going to put it in here like this, and then I'm just going to add some pretty little things. Purple goes really good with um, yellow. I've got, I thought I had some little blue ones, but maybe not. That's okay. We'll do with what we have. Um, and I'm just randomly putting them in, in no certain fashion or anything. Take off the tag. I just kind of stick them in. If I like where they are, I keep it there. If I don't, I might rearrange it. Or later, um, what I do is look and see if there's anything that needs to be added to any spots and if so then I will put these in. I cut shorter ones to go on the outer outer places so that this can be the tallest and it just kind of comes down. Um, and I took a lot of these. I have I have so many flowers you wouldn't believe the flowers I get. But um, I had three containers 
starting out with, and I have condensed everything. I'm so proud of myself. I condensed one blend, one basket into a plastic container with all the other flowers. So I have these little daffodils, which are really pretty. In the spring, they start coming up um, here. So I'm going to take a few of these daffodils. I'm going to make a few long and a few short, if I can cut them. Well, maybe not. There we go. And I'm just going to place them. I'm going to go right in the middle of those yellow ones. Just to add some color to those yellow. And do another one over here. And it just gives it a kind of a break of that. And I've got some of these. These are called Pussy Willows, and we have trees here in, in Missouri that actually look like, like this, and they um, kind of looks like cotton, and I'm just going to cut all of these down because I know I'm going to use them all, and I like to just go ahead and cut them, and I may use them now or I may just wait and see where I need them all but there's only four so I'm just gonna cut them off and I see that this one's a little bit short so I'm gonna add it for the outside like that and I'm gonna put another one right over here and now this one's a little bit taller so I can add it into a place that maybe I can fill in as a filler Maybe this one can go right there. And I don't really, um, I don't plan on doing stuff like that. I just do it. I don't sit there and say, okay, I wonder where this goes. I just put it in. I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter. I like them to come to the edge of the basket to kind of hang hang to the basket so it doesn't look unfinished and I do have a sunflower I might I, I don't know if I want the sunflower in that or not I just got it out these were really pretty they're like uh, calla lilies except they're yellow and little little bitty and they do have also green reef which is really good for a filler and a lot of times, what I'll do with this, since it has the, the greenery on it, I will cut them pretty short to add them to around the edges. And just like this. And that way, we have a little bit of filler going on that makes me, I, I just like it because it does, to me it doesn't, I want it to look complete, full, and everything. So if you take your fillers, sometimes I use greenery. Um, and sometimes I just use little flowers. And I just kind of decide on what to do. Okay, take a time out. I want you guys to see my shirt. It says, I love junk. It has a little bird in there. And it is from Jamie Ray Vintage. And you can pick these the shirts up, buy the shirts on her channels at jrvhome.com. And they have an apparel um, section you can go to. And you can find the shirts like this. So... I, I love my shirt because I do love junk and I want everybody to know I love junk. And if you've seen my house, you'd know I love junk. My husband and I, I kind of, what I've done is when I brought my hauls in, because I haven't felt very good, I just kind of start piling. And seriously, everything is just over here is just kind of, I have went through stuff and dump stuff and everything so what we're going to do is go through 
bring everything for me to either put in my booths or to sell on uh, eBay and um, that way it can kind of start emptying out put them in boxes um, okay I've got two white daisies that really like each other because they don't want to tear apart one stuck to the other let's see all right we got them and I'm just going to cut these off so anyway what we're going to do is move everything I've got some tables over there that are hidden and that needs to be ta uh, painted and taken to the booths so we're going to bring those up front because we need to get those done like i said in my other videos my my um booths are empty people has been buying like you wouldn't believe um and i'm i'm so surprised actually this last month i thought would be a slow month and it was not it was one of the best months i've had and so this is what i'm talking about using um for filler it's just some greenery but it really is good because it'll spread out and i'm gonna try oh i don't know if i can cut this or not it is pretty thick i may have to have greg to help me with this one um anyway we're going to bring those tables up front and that way we've got two tables that are here and down here that I've been using, but we're going to go ahead and get those finished. So hopefully Tuesday we can take um, them to the booths. My husband gets off at three, so he usually does that because I don't get off till five and that's when they close. So he usually takes the stuff at when he gets off work and okay see I've got some filler there and I didn't have another one of those but I do have look at this I have a little yellow thing it has some like grass growing on it and I'm going to cut that just down a little bit and I'll put it on this side and that way we kind of have some filler on both sides look at this on this side and usually that's what I do I twist around got a little bitty single row uh, little pansy here so I'm just going to I've got a purple there so I'm going to put it over here where there's not a purple and just pull it down so it'll be hanging off the and here I've got lavender I'm going to stick in here and looks like maybe we could use maybe one right here and oh look at this these are really pretty so but oh I found some look at oh I'm going to use these next that's how I am it's like oh what do I have oh look at this oh I think I want to use this <laughs> so it's funny because Greg has always said, Greg tells me all the time, it would take me hours to figure out where I want to put stuff. It's like, you don't try to figure out where you put stuff. You just put it and see if you like it. And if not, you can always move it. But usually if you don't, if, I mean, it's not going to, you're going to go around it. So, you know, if you, if you really don't like it, okay, come on. Um, okay, I save my stems like this. They have some uh, leaves on it. They have longer. I save those because sometimes I have flowers that don't have a stem and I use these because they are long. So I am going to take, this had a piece of greenery in it. So I'm going to put it over here on the edge. And this doesn't have a lot of yellow right here. So I'm going to stick that there and over here I'm going to put this white and see you you just keep on just keep on pushing 
putting stuff in and oh looky here I've got some other pansies here's some white ones which would go really good and let me get that you know one thing about it is I hate it when some of the tags are glued onto it and some you can just tear off I like the ones you can tear off it's like why can't you just put it where you can tear it off and that way you can use uh, you don't have to try to get it off because sometimes you have to just scratch it off okay I've got some purple look at here right here I have a lot of yellow right there so I am going to go down this way and put that now see I've got some color in there um, that may be what I want to do with maybe one of these let's try this one just um, right here I've got a lot of yellow so I'm just gonna put a little purple in it and then I think oh here this is a good filler um, I'm just gonna stick this in there and that way it fills up an empty space and then I've got another purple here. I don't have any purple in this area. So I'm going to stick that there. And another one. I'm just going to put it right, right there. And let's see what we have on this side. Um, let's put it right here. Okay. Um, we've got some more of this. This was this is good to just do your filler and that way see it takes up space that you don't have to use like two or three flowers with it i've got this um i'll put it right here because there's an empty spot i did that and um here's some white i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this shorter and put it on see it had um it has yellow on the edges of it and same with this one i'm going to cut it a little bit shorter so i can put it on an edge looks like i'm going to have to find some more flowers that's not going to be a problem but i will probably not i will probably finish it when when we get that um, afterwards because this is getting this is doing pretty good at getting done um, I've got just some of this I'm gonna try to stick it to do a little bit of filler there and in here there's quite a bit of yellow right there so I'm just gonna stick this purple in there to just kind of give it a different blend of color like this okay see I've got a hole over here and so oh lord I hope I can cut this again all right I'm gonna try these I know some people call them daffodils other ones call them dunkles they are so pop I mean it'll be probably the first of April we'll see our even they come up even in the snow the snow does not bother them and they are just so pretty and it's just like the sign of spring is like okay so, you know spring is coming um, okay I have another one right here so I am going to do the same thing Some of these are so thick. Okay, I'm gonna put that right here. And, um, okay, I've got some light color lavender. And I'm going to make this shorter. So I can start doing my ends of my edges here 
Okay, I have one here. So let's take, I may as well just cut these all off and be done with it so that we can just pick them up and cut with them or stick them in. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of these off. And you know, you don't have to know how to do flowers. You can just start playing around with them. Start, look, you know, just start putting in. You've got a lot of spring flowers that you can do different colors. And like I said, once, you know, when you start looking at your little, um, your whatever you're decorating, say, oh, I've got a hole right here that I probably need to put something in so it doesn't look so bare. And... Um, I think I'm going to put another daffodil because I got a small hole right there. Now I'm just going to go around and stick some of this lavender on edges just to, if there's a lot of same color, I might put the da like here there was a lot of yellow so I just put the, okay. So we've ended up, I've got one hole, and maybe I should just put the last daffodil in. I don't even know where I got these daffodils. I, if I find them at thrift stores or uh, garage sales or whatever, I get them. If they look nice, then I get them. What? Okay. That is pretty much done. Did you How long? Did you pick them up on took me 22 minutes to get that done. So now I'm going to pause and we are going to rearrange so we can quickly get that up. We have about eh, eight minutes to get that, um, the, uh, val the curtains on the vanity. So I'm going to pause it and then we'll be right back. All right, everybody, I got the vanity in here. It has a double or a triple mirror that opens up, sits on top. And I will show you um, in just a little bit what we put on top. Right now I'm putting the curtain. I need the drawer. I'm gonna put one little, and what I do, these are decorative. So I don't want, when I hammer them in, I don't want the hammer, I'm going to just barely push it in for now. And I dropped it. I don't know where it went. Okay. Let's do it again. I'm going to barely tap it in. Can you, yeah, you can all see me. So I'm going to cover it with this, um, it's like that liner, the shelf liner. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do is on the do another one on this side over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Barely tap it in. It's almost difficult and it's not. Okay, let's see if I can do it closed. See if I can get it. Oh no. Okay, I'm having some problems here. I think. Greg is in his pajamas. Oh, that's why. See what I did? I think Greg's going to have to come over and help me. And he is in his pajamas, but that's okay. It's, he's, it's just like sweats in a shirt. But with my hands 
the way they are. It's really difficult for me to have the strength to, to do it. Let me see if I can stand up and have a little bit more leverage. sideways. I don't want you to go sideways or down. I want you to go in. Okay. I think we got that one. Now I'm not going to use this. I thought it would be better, but it is not. Now the person that had this before, they put Velcro up. I wonder if I could push this through. Oh, yeah. That may be a lot better. They had Velcro stuck to this, and I just didn't care for that because it was like, it just didn't look good. I know you could change it, but if you do want to ever change it, you can just take out these little tacks. And, and I'm sorry I'm behind you. You're, my back's to you. Is that better? Because I, I, I want to show you how I'm doing this. And I, I have a limited time. And my packs aren't doing what they're supposed to do. It's just really hard for me to grip the hammer. Okay, I'm just going to have to have Greg to come over. He's laying over there on the couch. But he's going to have to come over and help me because... I thought this was going to be easy. I really did. I thought this, oh yeah, no problem at all. But, I did not take into consideration of how I can't do things very well. I, I have, um, I get, like, lopsided because I can't get my hand to go good enough. And I've had, oh goodness, I'm going to pause this and then we'll start it when we get it done.